Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video on the how to make an Akashi system series. Before I start this video, I want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon, so if you guys want to support me and want to have access to every single one of my tutorial files, they will all be available in my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said, let's start. So, uh, this is probably going to be the last part of this series. I'm not too sure though. Uh, I wanted to add one last thing, which is multi multi delete, and I'm pretty sure it will be very useful, and it won't be that hard to uh, to add to the system. So to do that, what I'm going to do is firstly make my mainframe visible, so I can see it, and I'm going to duplicate my unequip all button, and instead rename it to oh uh, rename it to um multi delete multi delete now just change the text to multi multi delete and what i'm going to be doing is making it so that whenever you press it we're gonna have we're gonna be able to select pets that we want to delete so to do that what i'm going to do is just go to my scrolling frame and inside of my template I'm going to add a bool value and I'm going to rename it to um, uh, is selected is selected for deletion or something like that let's just rename it to is selected underscore delete. And what I'm going to be doing is entering this inventory client script and we're going to have a variable. So local um, multi delete mode and I'm going to have it set to false by default. Auto delete mode uh, or auto delete toggled or maybe let's just make it mode. And what I'm going to do is create a function for getting in. Um, multi delete so let's just go here and do local function multi delete and i'm going to have the um uh, i'm not going to have any arguments i'm just going to make sure that multi delete mode is set to true multi delete mode is equal to true but before, but before i do that i'm going to have this as val and I'm going to change this to val. Now we're going to have a button one clicked event. So before we do that, we're going to create a variable for our multi delete button. So local multi delete button button, and we're going to have that set to mainframe dot on it dot um multi delete button. Now, what I'm going to be doing is having a mouse button one click event. So, multi delete button dot mouse button one click on connect function, and we'll check if or so. I just realized that this is useless, so I'm going to delete this function and go all the way down. And in here, I'm going to check if multi delete mode is equal equal to false then we will we will make it so that whenever you select the template it will be a red spot on the template will be set to will be uh, visible so to do that i'm going to make my template visible and i'm going to add a text label to it and I'm going to make sure that the Z index is greater than anything. So I'm going to change it to something like five. And I'm going to change the size to one, comma zero, come on, comma zero, and the anchor point, anchor point to 0.5. And I'm going to change the position to 0 0.5, comma zero, comma 0 0.5, comma zero. And now we're going to make sure that the background transparency is set to nothing. So background transparency 
set that to one and i'm going to change the text scaled property to true and this to x for the lead and the text color to red now that that's done what i'm going to be doing is changing the name of this text label to delete delete and i'm going to go back to my inventory client script and whenever we check if the multi delete mode is equal equal to false then we're gonna set the multi delete mode obviously to true and after doing that we'll just scroll up whenever we select a template so let's go to select template select pet and we're gonna check if multi-delete mode is equal equal to well, let's do if not multi-delete mode then and then we're gonna do all of this stuff else so else what we're gonna be doing is Template, template, colon, find first child and delete dot visible is equal to, and we're going to change that to true or to not uh, template dot colon, find first child delete dot visible. Now I'm going to make sure that the delete sign is not visible. Now I'm going to make sure that the template is invisible. And after doing that, we will just scroll all the way down and put an else here. And when we put that else, we're gonna loop through, we're gonna put multi-delete mode is equal to true. Uh, I mean, false. I'm sorry, but this is getting a bit confusing. So bear with me here. What I'm going to do is loop through every single template. So for I come for underscore comma temp in pairs tam, in pairs scrolling frame can get children to if temp dot uh can find first child if temp if temp is a uh text button text button uh or uh, actually then temp dot delete dot visible is equal to false now that should be it so we're gonna try this out i'm going to start off with by hatching some pets so let's hatch the first egg we got this orange pet. Let's hatch it again. And we got another one of those orange pets. Now I'm going to try to press this. And as you can see, nothing happens. It just selects the pet. But if I select multi-delete, then it's toggled. Then we can select pets. So that is good and all. But that kind of doesn't do anything. So I'm going to try to select some pets. And press multi delete. Okay, so that unselects them. But now we want a delete button. So to do that, we will add another button called delete. So duplicate this, put it here, and rename this to confirm confirm deletion. Now I'm going to make this the text to confirm confirm delete confirm delete and after doing that make sure that this is invisible and what we're going to be doing right now is entering this and i'm also going to change the font of my delete to doka one and what i'm going to do now is whenever we untoggle that we're gonna do this and i'm going to have a variable on top here local confirm confirm deletion and we're gonna have that set to mainframe dot 
uh, confirm deletion. Now, whenever we press that button, we want to fire a remote event. So, confirm deletion dot mouse button one click one connect function and let's just fire a remote event. So go to replicated storage and add inside of the remote folder add a duplicate your remote a remote and rename it to confirm confirm deletion and we're gonna do replicated storage or game dot replicated storage dot dot remotes dot confirm deletion on fire server and we're gonna send the we're gonna create a table so local selected that's is equal to an empty table and we're gonna loop through underscore comma temp in pairs and scrolling frame colon get children do if temp con is a and we're gonna check if it's a text button then we will just do and just put an end here and uh temp dot name uh dot name is equal equal to is not equal to template then uh, actually and uh temp dot uh delete dot visit visible visible is equal equal to true then table not insert selected pets comma and the temp dot name after doing that we're gonna fire the sir the uh fire the remote and send our selected pets and after that we'll just cr go inside of our egg underscore server script and do game dot replicated storage dot remotes dot uh confirm delete dot on server event con connect function and of course that will return the pet and the pets the player and the pets and after that we're gonna loop through for underscore comma pet in pairs player dot pets on get children children do and if pet dot name if pet what am i doing uh for i can in pairs for change this to for i comma v and change this to pets pets and in here if player player dot pets dot pets on find first child v then if we find the pet then we'll just delete it so v con or uh, player dot pets on find first child and v on destroy after doing that that's basically all we have to do here actually no we'll copy our unequip all code so just copy this workspace.pets copy the unequip all code so we're gonna unequip all of the players pets after we delete them and after doing that i'm just going to go back to my inventory client script actually uh, let's go back here let's check this uh player pets player not name okay that's good now go back here and whenever we do this we'll just loop through also whenever you do this just do temp on destroy 
and do confirm deletion dot value dot value um, dot visible is equal to false and multi delete mode is equal to false and just delete this text button convert children text button time dot delete that's odd just to remove these and play the game now and our multi multi delete system should be working properly hopefully so let's just wait for our pets to load in and let's equip a pet and i'm going to select multi delete select this and and this and i'm going and as you can see we don't have the multi delete button and that is very simple to fix all we have to do is well make the button visible so right here when we're doing this the confirm deletion dot visible is equal to and change it to true now if you play the game that should work so just wait for the pets to load in press multi delete like this this and let's just press confirm delete deletes them and we don't have them anymore and i can equip a pet press multi delete delete it uh, and i can confirm delete but this is broken as you can see so what we're going to be doing is deselecting anything whenever we uh well toggle the multi-deletion button so to do that we just have to do select the temp is equal to nil that's basically it and that should be very a very easy fix and it should actually fix it so let's just hash some eggs And we should have them in our inventory now. And let's try to equip a pet. And we're going to toggle on multi delete. And as you can see, we can confirm delete. And if I press this, nothing happens. And I select this, and it will well equip it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. If this helped, please subscribe and consider checking out my Patreon page. And like the video. Share it with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.